Turkey's ports are now closed to all Israeli trade. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says the embargo will only be lifted if there's a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. Erdogan on Tuesday called on the international community to put greater pressure on Israel, a move that analysts warn will have wider consequences. Turkey uh, became the first country globally uh, to essentially impose a total trade embargo on Israel, uh, including exports and imports. Turkey is likely now uh, to essentially try to leverage the stance uh, to convince possibly other uh, like-minded countries um, in the Islamic world, in the uh, Arab world, to follow its lead. Last year, Turkish-Israeli trade was worth nearly $7 billion, of which more than $5 billion was Turkish exports. Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz condemned the embargo, pledging to find alternative suppliers. But analysts warn the Israeli economy will still suffer. Uh, we see it from uh, automobile, automobiles to uh, food to textiles to metals. Um, really very, very diverse uh, set of things that Israel imports uh, from Turkey. Um, of course, uh, there are replacements. You can have other markets supplying Israel, uh, but it will probably uh, take time to Israel finds these replacements and it will cost more. Israel relies heavily on Azerbaijani oil that is piped to Turkey's Jehan port and then shipped to Israeli refineries. Azerbaijan is an ally of both Israel and Turkey. It remains unclear how the Turkish embargo will impact its sale of oil to Israel. But analysts warn a cutoff of supplies could have severe repercussions for Ankara. This will make uh, uh, Turkey and Israel put the relationship in enmity, in hostile situation, which will be for long years difficult to heal again. But if that happens, this will also affect the relations adversely with Azerbaijan of Turkey, not only with Israel. With Israel, as I said, Israelis will say, fine, we take note of that, but we have other options. Trade has historically been the glue that helps maintain Turkish-Israeli relations at times of high tension. Still, analysts predict the current high level of animosity means the trade embargo won't be lifted soon. Normalization, political normalization between Turkey and Israel uh, can uh, would only happen if there is a different government in Israel and the lifting of the trade embargo will be tackled then. However, the embargo's repercussions may extend far beyond the current governments in Turkey and Israel. Observers warn that restoring trade and trust could take a considerable time. Dorian Jones, VOA News, Istanbul.